sorry, anticipate my profit when all done over 4,000. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. So in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I put this post at the top under the featured section, invited everyone in the group to share their best Bolo. So if you would like to share a Bolo to be in next month's video, definitely go over to the Facebook group and do that. There is a link down below under my link tree that will take you to that Facebook group. All right, so let's talk about the first Bolo. It says, train stuff can be bolos for sure. I got about five of these model kits as part of a huge haul from a seller who was cleaning out her storage unit. I've paid a total of 350 for 10 big boxes of vintage toys, trains, and other things. These model kits go for good money. They stand out with their distinctive yellow boxes. This one sold for $99.93 within a day of listing. Thanks, Courtney. Love your channel and your group. I'm sure it's a lot of work for you, and I appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. This one comes from the dog patch picker and it is a model kit definitely be on the lookout and you can sell these with replacements like if they're partially complete sometimes people will be looking for them of course it's going to take longer to sell and you're not going to get as much money but yeah 99.93 check that out that looks really hard to put together if you ask me the next one is this oh simone nifo adi whoa I don't know if I said that right. War, war. <laughs> and then I mess up war. War Club Tribal Pacific Island Art Wall Decor. Wow. It says, I turned down lots of lower offers. Wait a minute. Is this the right one? No, here it is. I am a part-time reseller and I found this at the Goodwill when stopping in after work one night. I purchased it for $13. I wasn't sure how much it would sell for. So I put it on a seven day auction starting at $69.99. I was so excited when I received 20 bids for 255. Would you guys have picked it up or left it behind? Would you have known how to title it? I wanna know how she knew how to title it. Disney store Prince Eric from the Little Mermaid plush long soft doll. It is um, on, this sold on Mercari and plush a lot of times sells for more on Mercari, um, Build-A-Bear at least from some research I've done. If you type in Bolo Buddies Build-A-Bear, I have a video that shows you comparisons of the same plush that sold on eBay and sold on Mercari. And some of them sold for more on Mercari. If you're not on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with that and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And there are no seller fees on Mercari anymore. So um, check that out down below. And if you have your items on eBay, I use List Perfectly to cross post from eBay to the other platforms. Uh, there's lots of options of ways to cross post. Uh, List Perfectly is my choice. I started with them in 2019 and have stuck with it and love it. There's a tutorial down below if you wanna check that out. If you decide it's a good fit for you, you can get 30% um, off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. So let's talk about this, Eric from The Little Mermaid. Sold it for $72 plus shipping on Mercari. Found him at the Goodwill for $2.99, but it was half off blue tags. And this is Squishy Bee on Mercari. This one here says Christmas sells, oh, nope, 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 nope. Weird. Okay, here it is. I am having problems. I don't know where, okay. I don't know what happened here. Bought about 15 hardcover Stephen King books in excellent condition at an estate sale about two months ago. They were priced at $4 each. Knew that these were a good find thanks to watching other knowledgeable resellers. Great community to be a part of. Rachel's Resale Razzle Dazzle, $96.75 for this book. The Shining. The Shining. Never read it. The next one is this Disney Vera Bradley collab sling bag. I purchased this at a yard sale for $5, sold it for full asking price in less than one day. I listed it on the low side because it was monogrammed, which means it had initials. Didn't matter. I 
I'll gladly take 52 for a $5 investment that quickly, that $5 investment that quickly. I'm Meemaw's Marketplace on eBay. Meemaw's Marketplace. And it's monogrammed. I'm trying to see. Oh, there it is. Right there. It's hard to see, isn't it? So maybe somebody can take the stitching out. Any better? Anybody ever done that? All right. So this one's going to knock your socks off. All right. Hi, Courtney. Just had a chance to post this now. I really want to share so everyone is aware. Bolos are hidden everywhere. I purchased this small handmade quilt. Looks from the 80s to sell. Found at my local thrift shop in a baby aisle hanging where the blankets were. On the front of the blanket, there was about 12 hand-sewn 1960s press metal pins. I was going to sell as a whole bunch, uh, as a whole, but had a funny feeling to look some of the pins up. One of the pins I saw listed for several hundred dollars, so decided to take off the pins, research the pins, then sell the pins separately. I had no idea what I had. I have sold three pins already, the last for over 400, and keep getting offers for another pin in the hundreds, but I am letting the pin sit until the right buyer comes along. First picture is the blanket and the others are the links of the pins sold so far. I anticipate my profit when all done over 4,000, when all sold, sorry. So you can see right here, see the pins? They're just on the blanket, just on the blanket. This looks like maybe a handmade blanket that somebody put pins on. How fabulous is that? So she said, um, let's see. She said she saw one of the pins on WorthPoint. And if you guys aren't using WorthPoint, I do have a video um, that teaches you how to use WorthPoint. Bolo Buddies WorthPoint in the YouTube search will pull that up. WorthPoint is super, super helpful. She said one of the pins sold for over 400. I'm going to show you that one. She said, thank you for your motivational vid videos as well as your amazing informational and fun whatnot sourcing forum. You are a spark helping me relate but providing motivation to keep pursuing my retirement dream to be a full-time reseller. And this comes from Geek Nurse, Geek Nurses Treasures. Oh my goodness. She sells on Etsy, eBay, Posh, Mercari, and a local barn auction. All right. Right now, here is the one. She said this one sold for over 400. It's from 1979. Houston Astros first World Series Phantom Press Pin. Balford Rare. Wow. Over $400. This one sold, it looks like, for 62 and this one sold for a best offer of, I'm not sure, but less than 38 That is incredible. Now, this one, it, what I've noticed is when I'm pulling up solds, it still shows how many people have viewed it, um, and I noticed that on another one, but it actually did sell. It says, I got this doll in a lot at my local online auction. I wanted the vintage crib doll in a lot and didn't pay attention to the other items. Paid $3.50 for the whole lot. So this was zero for me. Sold it on offer for 72 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for 102 and the doll had some flaws. Makers on the back of her legs. I'm sorry, markers. Oh my goodness, markers on the back of her legs. I can't read. And clothes were not perfect. I am useful treasures for you on eBay and useful treasures on Mercari. Thanks, Courtney, for all of the Bolo videos you do for us. See, just, just put pictures. People will still buy it. I am new, less than a year at this, and I've stumbled across two dolls at my local online auction that were Bolo's. American character doll. Never seen that one. With issues. All right. The next one comes from Picker Money Flipper here on eBay and on YouTube. They are big money bolo finders. You definitely want to check out their YouTube. Um, let's see. Paid $2 at a yard sale and it sold for $109.95 plus shipping. It took three days to sell. It's a Verizon flip phone, guys. Check that out. Would you have walked past it? Here is another one. This was not a fluke. They sold two of these. Picked up two of these phones at the same yard sale. $2 a piece for each. Both phones sold for $94.95 plus shipping. These phones sold in three days. So big money, fast sale, Picker Money Flipper. Here is another one from Picker Money Flipper. Cole, Co, uh, Co I Nor, I don't know. Rapid Ograph, seven pin slim pack in the box. So there's some sort of pin. I don't know what these are for, guys. 
Uh, let's see, $5 sold for $98.50 plus shipping. So this is one of those where it's new old stock. You just look it up and if it's got good comps, you buy it or you take a chance at $5. Purchase this antique purse at an estate sale for $10 engraved with date and person's name on inside of top of purse along with other writing. I had listed on eBay for several months and took a best offer of 159 plus shipping. I was happy it sold, but sad too. I really liked having it. It meant something to Mildred. Can't believe a family member would not have kept this. As always, thanks for much, so much for supporting us. You can't keep everything. Oh, look, it is actually engraved. That is pretty fancy. But it was engraved in 23. Huh. Wonder if that was, I don't know. That's got to be, that's got to be, would that be 1923? I, I think it is because she's got 1922 in the title. Whoa, that is an old one, guys. That is an old one. All right, the next one here is also from Cat Feel and Thrifty. She sold the purse as well. Cat Feel and Thrifty is over on Whatnot selling her jewelry. And that woman has some mega, mega awesome vintage jewelry. Check her out, Cat Feel and Thrifty, on Monday and Wednesday night at 7.30 Eastern time. And Cat, thanks so much for all of your help moderating in uh, my whatnot. If you guys aren't on whatnot, you can get $15 to shop. I have a referral link down below. If you use that $15 free money, come hang out with us. We're so much fun. <laughs> Cat even snorts. <laughs> she snorts when she laughs and I just have a ridiculous laugh. So you're sure to be smiling at our shows. All right. Vintage perfume glass bottle and dapper signed Michael David and Kit Carbler. Picked up this gorgeous perfume bottle with dapper at an estate sale. It was under a box of hankies. I was looking through, asked how much, my surprise, $3. I listed on eBay and sold within a few days for a best offer of 75 plus shipping. And how pretty is that? That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. The next one says, shout out to Courtney for telling us that Chuck E. Cheese is a thing. I bought a baggie of My Little Pony toys for $5 at a yard sale from a woman selling her toys from the 80s. Got my full asking price of $65. i have made $145 from the bag so far. Thanks for the heads up. And it is a vintage 1984 My Little Pony MLP Chuck E. Cheese promo prize exclusive. I didn't even know such a thing existed. But yes, Chuck E. Cheese, if you see it, look it up. And the last one here is one that probably many of you know about, Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret underwear. If you can find them new with tags, they are money, money, money. Pink Victoria's Secret vintage 2004 bikini underwear, size large. On the 13th, I got three pair of vintage Victoria's Secret underwear, $5 each at the Goodwill. This pair ha and two duplicate pairs. Wish they were all like this pair since it sold for $132 uh, on best offer. This pair is more sought after. Other two haven't sold yet and are listed for $125 each. Yes. So come over to the Facebook group. Share your best June Bolo. Go up to the featured section of the group. It'll be at the top. And shout out your social media or your selling platforms in the comment in the comment. <laughs> and I will mention it in this video and that will get you guys some exposure for your YouTube and eBay and all of that stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.